Welcome to the McNeese Intellectual Property Podcast Series. This podcast will address trademarks by Michael Doctrow, attorney at law. Mr. Doctrow is co-chair of the Intellectual Property Group at McNeese. Welcome to our podcast today entitled Trademark Basics for Business Owners. A business's trademarks are valuable business assets. Trademarks represent the goodwill of your business because your trademarks reflect your business as the source of your goods or services to your customers. When a customer walks down the aisle of grocery store and sees a Reese's peanut butter cup, the customer knows the candy comes from Hershey's chocolate and knows the quality and taste associated with the candy. Trademarks can be comprised of words, stylized words, logos, or a combination of words and logos. When adopting a new trademark, a business should have two concerns. First, will you be able to use or register a mark without being sued by another business? Second, will you be able to register and defend the mark against infringement by other businesses? To determine whether a business is going to be sued by another business for using or registering a new mark, and to determine whether a business can secure a registration and defend its new mark, a business must have a trademark attorney search existing registered and unregistered trademarks. In the United States, priority to use or register a mark is based on the date of first use of a mark or the date of an application for registration. As a result, both registered and unregistered marks must be reviewed. That is, the search must include both registered trademarks and those that are merely used. The test for determining whether a new mark will infringe on a prior mark and the test to determine whether a new mark will be registered over an existing registration is whether the new mark is likely to be confused with the prior mark. In determining whether a new mark is likely to be confused with a prior mark, a court and the trademark office use a multi-factor test. The factors include the similarity of the marks, the similarity of the goods or services with which the marks are used, the similarity of the channels of trade for those goods or services, the strength or weakness of the mark, and any evidence of actual confusion. A simple screening search conducted by a qualified trademark attorney on a commercial database should cost no more than several hundred dollars. For more important marks, a comprehensive search and legal opinion, which involves securing a comprehensive search of registered and unregistered marks from a commercial search service, should cost less than $2,000. So, you need to clear a mark before you use it to make sure you don't get sued for using it or registering it. But why would you want to register a mark? A federal registration provides you with significant advantages in protecting your trademark. With a federal registration, you have access to federal court and you do not need to establish your trademark rights in the lawsuit. You'll have access to treble damages and attorney's fees in exceptional circumstances, and you will get to use the R inside a circle federal trademark designation. What I hope you learned from this short program today is one, it is important to clear marks through qualified counsel before they are used or registered. Otherwise, you could be sued for infringement, be forced to change your mark, and pay damages. Two, you should consider registering your mark to be able to protect your mark against infringement by other companies. Three, your mark should be registered in every country in which you do business or hope to do business in the near future. Please feel free to contact me at the number displayed on the screen with any questions you have regarding protection of your trademarks. For additional information regarding trademarks and trademark protection, please see our Businessman's Guide to Trademarks available on the Intellectual Property section of our website under Resources and also available on the website of the Pennsylvania Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us today.